We have seen how DNA, the genetic material, replicates itself. We have also seen how the genetic information is conveyed to the cellular machinery and that is used to make specific type of proteins. But if we look at an organism, we will see that different cells are making different type of proteins. All these cells come from a single cell, the fertilized egg or the zygote. We have so many different types of tissue. Our heart cells, our liver cells, nerve cells, blood cells, they all are different. They have different proteins in them and they have different functions. However, the genetic information in all these cells is the same, is identical, but they're functioning differently. So cells are doing something to regulate, to determine or choose which proteins they are going to make and which they are not going to make. So let's see how cells are able to do that. First of all, let's categorize genes, just rough categories. First category would be housekeeping genes. These genes are expressed in all cells at all the time and they are generally responsible for routine metabolic function. For example, respiratory enzymes which are present in mitochondria, these are expressed in all cells. The cytoskeletal proteins are always present in all cells. There are some genes which are transiently expressed, meaning that at specific time point in the life of cell they are expressed that generally happens when cell is going to or starting to differentiate. So these are another category of genes. Some genes are expressed all the time in, in those cells that have differentiated into a particular type of cell. For example, our neurons make a protein which is called tau. This protein is specific for neurons. It is basically a protein that bundles microtubules it will not be found in all the cells. It is found specifically in neurons. Some proteins are expressed, some genes are expressed when it is required that these cells make that particular protein. And this is one of the type of genes that we will be most interested in. But however, there are mechanisms which allow organisms to regulate what type of proteins are present in a cell. Some of the strategies other than blocking the transcription or making the RNA from DNA include hydrolyzing after the messenger RNA has been made. It can be hydrolyzed. It can be prevented from becoming translated and forming a protein. If the protein has been formed, the protein can be hydrolyzed. Thereby, if the protein is not there, it will not be able to give that specific function to the cell. Or if the protein has been made, it can be made inactive or it can be degraded. There are specific structures in the cell that are responsible for degrading cells. The, most of the proteins our cells make actually are degraded. Or the proteins that have become, have become damaged and they can cause further damage by interacting inappropriately with other proteins or other cell molecules, these proteins are degraded. So how do these organelles, proteasomes, which degrade proteins, know which protein to degrade and not to degrade? Their proteins, their other machinery, cellular machinery, that is sensing the functionality of the protein. Any protein that is not required or is damaged can be added a little tag. It is a small molecule called ubiquitin. When this ubiquitin is attached to a protein, that protein is taken to the proteasome. It is degraded into amino acids, which can be recycled. So we have seen basically different strategies cells can take on to regulate their function by checking what type of protein is active, is available or not. And that determines what type of functions a cell can perform.